Hey, Bedros Kulian here, and I'm a fitness marketing expert, which pretty much means I help personal trainers grow their business, get more clients, and of course, increase your profits. And today I want to talk to you about a question I get often on Facebook, especially, is, hey, Bedros, how do I start and build a personal training or a boot camp business? Um, most people ask me this because they think that what I'm going to give them is some profound advice on their personal trainer marketing system. Um, but the fact of the matter is, it's really a three-step process, and personal trainer marketing is just one of those steps. So the way I kind of like to look at it, uh, and I'm a very visual person, so maybe this will work for you as well, is I look at it as a pie. And I would divide this pie into three halves, right? And so very much like a P symbol there. And component number one here is lead generation or personal trainer marketing or you know things that have to do with your fitness business right the actual business part of it so we'll write lead gen now thing number two is your and this is the thing that most people forget about your niche market and I'll explain that in a second and then thing number three is the outcome or the client client experience so let's look at all three of these components real quick and see if I can help you draw the picture now you might think if I were to ask you which of these three is the most important common sense would tell you well it's got to be lead generation without getting leads I can't grow my business and that is why most personal trainers will contact me how do I get more leads so I can grow my business is there a fitness business course that I should buy and read before you do any of that, and while that does seem like it's common sense, the fact of the matter is, thing number one is this, your niche market. Now here's what I mean. Think about a doctor who does general practice, right? The doctor you, do, you would go to if you have foot ache, or a headache, or elbow pain, uh, or you have a cold or a flu, right? Your general practitioner doctor, versus the guy who is a doctor but he's a specialist brain surgeon heart surgeon vascular surgeon right look at the different styles of their businesses for example the brain surgeon or heart surgeon the guy who's a specialist always makes more money and has a very specific type of patient that he or she is working on the general practitioner consistently makes less money than a specialist and in fact, these days, the average MD who does um, just general practice makes around $120,000 a year. That is not a lot of money for a doctor who spent all that time, money, and energy getting educated, where a specialist will actually average a $400,000 a year or more, right, up to a several million dollars a year. And so the difference is the general practitioner kind of works with everybody, right? And because they don't specialize, they can't command top dollar like the specialist can. So the niche market is what you have to pick first. And there's several different ways you can select a niche. Your niche could be the style of training that you offer. For example, if you offer CrossFit type training, which is more for, let's say, a younger market of like people in their 20s and 30s, maybe late 30s, even early 40s, well, that's awesome, right? And it's probably more male dominated, male oriented training. Very cool. That's a style of training, the hardcore style of CrossFit training. Great market. Or there's what we have in our Fit Body Bootcamp locations, right? Which is women predominantly, like 87% of our clients are women in our Fit Body Bootcamp locations. Uh, in fact, their age group is about 33 to 58 years old, right? And their main goal is fat loss and body toning in a non-intimidating environment, right? So while they're still challenging workouts, they're using TRX, battling ropes, uh, dumbbells, sliders, uh, uh, plyo boxes, it's not an intimidating environment. And so those are just two different types of niches, and those two different niches attract a specific type of client, right? Now on the flip side, you might offer one-on-one -on -one personal training that's designed for the elite or the exclusive market, the person who's looking for that exclusivity, who's looking for that one-on-one -on -one attention. Now there's a lot of flaws in that model that I found, but we're not here to talk about the different models and, and where the flaws and where the benefits are, but the one-on-one -on -one training is not as scalable as a group training or a boot camp program is. <clears throat> so, one, your style of training determines your niche market. The other way you can determine your niche market is, who do I like training? In other words, you might decide that I like doing strength training, and I like doing strength and agility and speed training with young athletes. That's who I'm most passionate about, right? 
Or you might say, you know what, I live in a downtown environment, my facilities in a downtown environment. I have a lot of business people, people who are always on the go. So I've created workouts for busy executives that are under 20 minutes and they can only do it three times a week and they'll get amazing results. Or you might have workouts that are specifically for stay at home moms, right? And your busiest time slots might be before the husband and the kids go to school, husband goes to work and kids go to school. And your busiest time slot after that might be after she's dropped off her kids at school and comes to your facility to work out. That's a different type of client than the young athlete who wants some strength and agility and speed training or the busy executive who just wants to stay, uh, keep their edge and, and burn fat and do stress reduction, but doesn't necessarily have a whole hour, four or five days a week to work out. So once you can identify your niche, then you can improve your marketing. Because think about this, if I know that my market is stay-at-home moms and only stay-at-home moms, I'm no longer focusing on male and female 8 to 80. What I'm really focusing on is stay-at-home moms. So I go, okay, well, in my community here, what businesses do stay-at-home moms frequent? Those are the businesses that I would go and create a joint venture relationship with so that I can promote them and they can promote me. What publication do the stay-at-home moms in my area read, right? What supermarkets do they go to? right and once I figured out where they hang out and once I know that I'm looking for let's say females between the ages of 33 and 58 I could even say all right go I can go to Facebook and type in a zip code and say show me women in this zip code who are between 33 and 58 years old and I can put my targeted message right in front of them so once you've identified your niche whether it's a style of training that you do or a group of people that you want to offer your service to, you can target your marketing like a laser instead of doing the shotgun approach of, hey, I train everybody eight to 80, male or female, which means you really have no specific person that you're after, which means you have to water down your marketing message versus keeping it very specific and honed in, right? So number one thing you have to do is pick a niche. Once you know exactly who you're marketing to, then you can create marketing systems for that person. For example, if it's, if you can pick the top five businesses that stay-at-home moms go to, if that's your market, then you can create a strategic joint venture um, uh, relationship with those businesses. One way could be creating this awesome gift basket that has lotions and creams and, and, and perfumes and maybe a, a bottle of wine um, and, a, and a $100 gift certificate to a local day spa, right? And you put it in these five businesses and you start lead generating. In other words, one person can win that basket, but all the people who put their name in for that basket become an ideal perfect lead for you, right? I mean, that's a great targeted marketing effort towards that person, right? Another way could be if you're running Facebook ads and we know we're looking for females in this specific zip code between the ages of 33 and 58, well, the lead generator that you run on Facebook, the ads that you're gonna run might be recipes, right? Low fat, delicious, quick and easy to make recipes for moms, right? I mean, no young athlete's gonna do that. Some busy executive's not gonna download that. But Mrs. Jones, who's 33 to 58, who's in that exact demographic that you're looking for, is gonna go, holy cow, I want that free report. They're gonna see your ad, go to your website, download your free report in exchange for their email address, and you captured another lead, right? So think about how specific you can market, either online or offline, once you have a niche market selected. So your marketing actually becomes better and more targeted once you have your niche selected. So once you've got your lead generation and your niche market selected, well, what's next? <clears throat> the next thing is to grow your business through word of mouth because word of mouth is really the best source of marketing, which is re essentially referral generation. And the reason that's the case is because if I came to you through a person who already works out with you, I'm four times more likely to buy than someone who came to you through a, a ad or a postcard, right? Because if I came referred, I trust my, my, my friend who also happens to be a client, I'm four times more likely to buy, 400% more likely to buy. That is solid. Now the only way your client and my friend is gonna refer me to you is if they are getting an amazing outcome or experience. And so this third component of this pie of growing a successful personal training or bootcamp business really is all about delivering the outcome as promised and then getting your clients the experience that they can't get anywhere else. And that might be sending them puff up text messages. Hey, Mrs. Jones, thanks for working out today with us. You did an amazing job, have an awesome day. Imagine texting that to your client 
after she leaves your boot camp or your personal training studio. Like how awesome is that? That's something that the big box gym never offers. That's probably something another personal trainer doesn't offer, right? And it's that amazing experience. It's creating that second home of your boot camp or your personal training place. It's getting the outcome that they want, right? Show them they can lose inches and pounds right away as quickly as you can. So become the better trainer. And by doing that, you're gonna create word of mouth referrals and those referrals are so much easier to close. In fact, they not only are 400% more likely to buy from you, but statistics show that they buy at a higher dollar amount. So instead of, let's say, buying whatever, $500 of personal training or bootcamp services, they'll buy $1,500 of personal training or bootcamp services, which to me is a pretty sweet deal, right? And the best part about that is you did not spend a single dollar in marketing to that person because your client who loves you so much, who thinks that you're just the next best thing next to sliced bread, went out and got you that free lead, right? So it's a really cool thing to do. So let's go over the formula again. If we were to do this, it's one, two, and three. So when you're starting a personal training or bootcamp business, you wanna grow your, your business to, to massive success, what you wanna do is one, select your niche market. Number two, lead generate specifically to that niche market and, and talk to them, market to them in the way they wanna hear the message. And number three, give them the most amazing results you can deliver, exceed their expectations, give them an amazing experience so that you can start stimulating word of mouth referrals and your business will grow really quickly. Now, if you got a lot of value out of this video, do me a favor and hit thumbs up or share or like this video or even leave me a comment down below. And if you want more information like this on how to grow your training business, just click the link down below, come to my blog. I got a ton of free information for you there. So I'll see you over there.